Uh, my name is Jamie Langston. This gentleman here rejected me from this store because I have a service animal. I am requesting that you give him a ticket under California Penal Code 365.5C that anyone who do, who interferes with someone with the service animal gets a ticket. Now, you're refusing Sir. to give this gentleman a ticket. Sir. Is that what you're telling me? Talk to, talk to the gentleman that owns the store. He is not refusing you service and he wants you to leave his leave the store based on your behavior nothing to do with your service dog he's perfectly fine with service dogs being in his store no 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 that is not what he said said. when he came in i have it on recording it's a go call your dispatcher and ask him what they said you're being verbally aggressive no because he came in he said your dog can't be in the store and i said it's a service animal he started arguing with me saying he doesn't care you can't say oh you can't get out the service animal well now you complained about it that's what they did at the library this is not an oligarchy. This is not a polygarchy. The money doesn't rule. The law says that he has to let my service animal in. I showed him the I paperwork, and then he rejected it. And so he so rejected me because that? I had a service animal. Said, Your attitude, well, because you have a service animal, you're noisy. He's not letting you in. That's fine for now. But the, the thing is, initially, initially, he did not let me go in because I had a service animal. Anything after that is beyond the fact. He said prior to that, you were being verbally aggressive. No, I walked in. I said, how much is this, right? And he said, oh, I don't allow the dogs in. I said, it's a service animal. And I pulled out the paperwork, talking to her. And he looked at it. I started looking at a necklace. And he said, oh, no, I want you to get out. That's the I don't like him in here. Can I talk to you real quick? I just I want you were inside. the ticket. They don't take the ticket for twenty five hundred California penal coach and I can sue them for sixty five thousand. Thank you, Mr. Oh, shit.
What are you looking to get out of here? A necklace. Okay. They don't want to sell you anything. I, I, no, here's the thing. Okay. I was going in with my service animal. He said, get out. We don't allow dogs in. I said, it's my service animal. Showed him the paperwork. He didn't care. The problem is American with Disabilities Act doesn't allow that. And California has a law, a three, what, the 65.5, that says anyone who prohibits someone with a service animal from exercising their rights gets a ticket not to exceed $2,500. All I want you to do is write the ticket. They can fight it in court. Because they did interfere with my right to go in their store with a service animal. And you cannot say I do not allow service animals in my store. Huh? So I, I think you're missing the thing. They don't. They don't have to let you in there. For any, you don't have a right to go in there with or without a service animal. Well, here's the thing. You, you legally, you're right, but you can't say you can't go in here because you're black. You can't come in here because you're a Jew, or you can't come in here because you're just a service animal. That's what the law says. The law says that protected classes have rights. As a handicapped person, I am a protected class. The American with Disabilities Act protects me the same way it does any minority. They cannot deny me because I have a service animal. That is against the American law. And that is what California understands and why California understands they need to get a ticket for two, up to $2,500 under 365.5. They can fight it in court for how much it is. But I'm, the law says that the police have to enforce the laws. You can't uh, not just not enforce the law because you don't want to. I researched this. You can get sued if you don't. And the law says you want to read the law yourself? No, I know what you're referencing. Okay, so you know they did not let me in because it was a service animal. Any excuse they come in after that doesn't matter. The reason they didn't let me in is because I had a service animal, and the California law specifically says they cannot deny me because of that. The American Disabilities Act says they specifically cannot deny me against that fact. And the California law says they get a ticket. I just want you to give them the ticket as the California law requires. Did they say they're denying you because you're a service animal? Yes. He said that explicitly. Explicitly. I said, I don't want a dog in there. And then he, you listen to him. Because I'm I'm, if it goes to court, I'm going to go to the thing. And he says, he has a dog in here. I don't think it's a service animal is what he said to the dispatcher. Okay. He admitted it was because he didn't think the dog was a service animal. Correct. I don't know. He de de denied my service animal. He does not have that right. Okay. He gets the ticket. Even with what you're saying, he said he didn't want a dog in here. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have the right to say no with a service animal. So He does not have the right to say no. The only so place a service is animal is denied is in a kitchen. He can go to where people eat. He can go any place else. That's what the law says. I can quote it for you. It doesn't matter if he doesn't want me in there. The law says he has to allow me in. We're not giving him a ticket. Well, okay, so you are saying that you are not going to force the law. After all you heard that he denied me because my job was animal, you, a, Calif a Long Beach Police Department, department say you are not going to enforce the law, even though it is obvious that he broke it. Is there it. anything else you need from us? Yes, I want you to tell me, are you going to enforce the law or not? Okay, we're going to get going, okay? Okay, and I will take this to City Hall, and right now I'm going to sue you.